All right, so Sam, I am. We got uh, Clayton. What's your name? James. James. We've got Nick and, and Cammy who we've met. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Joshua James. What's going on, Joshua? Um, just smoking this divine, oh. beautiful facade. You took the hat off and I didn't recognize you. That's so funny. I thought it was a newbie. Is that right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, yeah, there he is. All right. <laughs> the snake is also in the bag. <laughs> so Sweet. So what were you guys just doing? Uh, we were just doing a uh, kundalini meditation led by our gracious and wonderful friend Clayton here. What is kundalini meditation? Well, kundalini is like the snake of energy of divine masculine and divine feminine, you know, and it's um, how our energetic body works. It's what medicine is really based on, you know, it's like... So it's the energy within my own being. And um, a kundalini experience is when I become centered enough within myself in that experience and I'm able to vibrate myself in such a way that it creates my pineal gland, giving me a release of DMT in which I have a very different experience. So it offers uh, an experience, nice, like a mind-altering experience naturally without <laughs> the need of any type of medicine. Yeah. So it is medicine, though. Mm. <laughs> it just doesn't need chemicals. It is medicine. I mean, that's where the symbol comes from, you know? And that's also the symbol, in case people don't know, that's the Staff of Hermes that, that all is. doctors yeah. base their I oath on. So you love science, do some research. Staff off. Yeah, I enlightened, enlightened many. Choose. Throws them in place and enforced enlightened them with that staff. It's hidden in your science that you use to discredit us. So do some research, please. Yeah, no, I don't unlock the halls of humanity. Humanity, about it. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about it? Do you guys, do you guys want to do it again? Well, let's do it again. Let's I'm do happy it. Love that. I, was, I mean, it was I would like extremely to beneficial that too. to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best to practice it while also holding the camera. Thank you for sharing. This means a lot to me. It means a lot. <laughs> so does everybody got the instructions down, or should I go over them again? Once more, please. <laughs> okay, so the sphincter is locked. It's making a connection throughout the entire practice. You're keeping that squeezed, okay? Um, the breath is coming from here. Up. And out the mouth. Hud. Hud. And you're hitting... Um, if you're hitting your teeth, you need to back off just a little bit, and it's just, there's a perfect spot for it to fit in, okay? And, uh, we're coming all the way out to here, and coming and hitting these meridians, and then coming back out and hitting these meridians. So the whole time, the eyes are crossed, a soft gaze, giving you a double image of... I mean, actually, yeah, we'll still be able to see each other. I felt the electricity that you spoke of to feel like a battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you were doing the hand visualizations, is that something that you would visualize your energy doing when you were showing the flow? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That. So that's what I'm visualizing? No, no, well, uh, Man. you, you can, uh, I would say have it whatever experience you experience. Sure. Um, but... I'm going to push it past the point of comfort and then I'm going to go like this and this is everybody start inhaling and then exhale and the energy is going to come here and here from the heart, right? And then we're going to touch the heart and inhale up all the way to here and feel as to, you can pump with your PC muscle. Um, right there, for, and then we'll open our crown chakra. That's how you stop peeing. And <laughs> may I add something? Yes, please. With uh, with that PC muscle, even when you're doing the huds, that is uh, the flow of energy, the rhythm, you know, the tap on that. And so you pump where, your PC muscle where that All right, that's fun to do. Energy and you can play is it. going is like your focus. If you're wanting it. To do the spiral up your spine to heal your spine, you yeah. can do that. If you're having a thing with your knee, you can do that. If it's your ears, if it's your heart, like whatever it is, you are sending that energy 
into that area with that flow and that momentum. Wow, I never knew that. Thank you. Real quick, uh, anyone watching this, go back to the start, follow the instructions, do it with us. Why not feel connected to the rainbow? You don't have to be alone. We're here for you. Yeah. So, ready? Okay. That's all you get. If you want more, come to the rainbow. No storm! Ow, it fucking hurts. Yeah! Hope it doesn't get an inch wide. It hurts. I gotta enjoy it. Yes. It's cold and rainy. Oh, the hailstorm was nuts. Not really. It was. It was cool. But uh, we went and all sat under a tarp, sang rainbow songs. Uh, it's cool because we all had to be really close and we all shared and had good conversation. But I didn't have my shirt on and I have my shorts on and it's freezing. So I'm in my tent. We did so much work today. I've got such great interviews. We opened up the fire. Uh, out of that space I've been bitching about this whole time, I feel like I got to motivate a lot of people. And through my efforts and ability to lead and find other leaders to help lead, uh, I really got the, the trust of a lot of people. And uh, they're very willing to share because they see my intent. So rather than tell them my intent, you know, as far as things go, I think it's good with this method of just sharing who I am through my actions. 
And it kind of gives me hope. I think this rainbow thing might be another angle I can explore when I'm not in slabs that have as much information coming because, oh my gosh, people that aren't inter interested in these videos, I'll be surprised. Uh, I'm freezing. I'm just going to huddle up and hope it stops raining. Uh, I've got plenty of gear. I'm just, yeah, cold. See ya. After like nonstop work on the fire ring and expanding it, I feel pretty good. I wish I could show you. A time lapse of the efforts would have been amazing. It would have been me like doing it and then barking at people to help. No, just kidding. Uh, turned out really nice and taking a break to go with my friends here. Jag and Dragonfly. Jag and Dragonfly. And we are going to go down to Handy Camp and I'm going to maybe talk to some of the elders who can't make this walk down or up if they're willing. And uh, I'm also going to interview these guys, whoever's willing. So that's what's going on. It's been a good day. It's raining on and off. The hailstorm was nice. We all got to cluster under a tarp, get to know each other better. That was fun. Loving you. Loving you. But uh, we're getting to more people, and I don't want to show faces I haven't asked about consent for, so catch the next one. Just Jeremiah here at the Rainbow Gathering. I had a great day. I got to do more community building, like opening up that heart. Uh, it's hard because there's so many views, and to me it just comes down to who's putting in the effort. They can decide. The consensus matters, but if you're not going to put in work, uh, the one guy that was causing all the issues... He shoved me towards the fire last night, and I reacted, I shoved him, and I told him I'd fuck him up. Uh, people were very cool about it because they realized that, I mean, the guy is literally struggling with mental illness, like, so, he's a sociopath, and he's such a nice guy, and it sucks seeing him dive into the darker sides of his personality because he is a great guy, and I hope that he can heal from it. But, I mean, yeah, I don't need to say anything else. He's a great guy. It'll be fine. Uh... I let it go, but it felt scary being shoved towards a fire that's, like, huge. Uh, I don't know. I uh, got to meet lots of cool people, do lots of great interviews today. I hope you enjoy watching all these videos. Who knows where I'm going next? I'm going to stop talking about that so much and just talk about the now. Right now I'm tired. I've been working nonstop to help create a more inclusive space at the Hearth Circle. And in the process, it's giving me the opportunity to connect with a lot of people that might not trust my angle with YouTube. Rather than tell them my angle here in the world and in the rainbow, I'm showing them through my community building and raising people up. And uh, it's been great because I'm getting so many people that are just willing. Uh, it's getting to the point where like I really enjoy it, but I'm like, oh crap, I gotta stop and like enjoy the day. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. Hope you love these videos. I'm gonna sign up for today. Uh, Keep watching. Lots more coming. Love you all. Love you, fam. Bye.